Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Rock. I'm your host, Mr. Serbian Lover, and right now we gotta talk about victory. The Macedonian rebels struck at midnight, but our forces were prepared and retaliated harshly. After several engagements across the countryside, the IMRO suffered serious losses and was forced to retaliate. The war continues, but we've scored an impressive victory today. Thus, unto all criminals. This one's been won by us, which is awesome, 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 which is over here. We're in a uh, lull phase right now, current phase lull. Well, phase in Macedonia roundos. The mountains and hills of Macedonia, or Macedonia, make the region a godsend to any would-be guerrilla revolutionary, and so the conflict again against the IMRO takes place in the form of a regular small-scale warfare. Our Macedonian bands, the Chetas, infiltrate the rest of Macedonia from the organization's HQ in the mountains, against which the Serbian army and law enforcement responds to the regular patrols and similarly a small-scale organization. Our resources in this war are limited, however, should we focus or defend the larger cities in the north, such as Skopje, or should we focus on the rural mountains, mountains in the south? The last time I did north, so if we fail here, I'm just going to go back in time and go ahead and just do the other one, but, um, focus on the villages this time. The SKK ag Agitation. Seeking to expand itself into all sections of the Serbian political society, the Serbian Culture Club is recruiting new members, reaching out through personal contacts to numerous members of the Skupstina and party officials in order to attract them into club meetings and discipline them closer to the club's patriotic irredentist line. Ever since it was founded in the early 30s, as a civilian arm of the conspiracy is plotting in Siberian life, Siberian, S Serbian life, it decided to integrate politicians, intellectuals, and artists from the entire ideological spectrum, and an official ideological line of a strong Serbian identity and a strong Serbian nation can appeal to the bleeding heart socialists and aggressive nationalists alike. A few similars never heard anybody. Try to obstruct their actions. Well, I mean, I don't want to lose political power. I'm also do that, even though we're losing so much political power every single day. The Dinaric Race. The concept of the Dinaric Race, created by Western racial scientists in the late 19th century, as a way to classify the peoples of southeastern Europe, had been hijacked by a pan Slavic nationalist since the earliest days. As most of the current, or radical current, and the Yugoslavia, Yugoslavism ideology, it describes Serbs, Croats, Slovenes, Bosniaks, and Macedonians as part of a single race and that the differences between them arose of historical separation rather than any inherent differences. A notable early supporter of the idea which would later form Dinarism was Jovan Svidic, a Serbian geographer and geologist who used the environmental conditions of the Balkans to describe the formation of this joint South Slavic identity across the border from Serbia. These ideas are most predominantly developed by the Croat philosopher Vladimir Donorovic, who, or Donornikovic, who declared in his writings that the South Slavs needed to unite for mutual reasons, much like Germans and Italians in the 19th century. His views include eugenics and cultural blending to build a strong Yugoslav race and a comprehensive description of unitarist Yugoslavian philosophy. Um, Dmitry Lutic and his political party, the closest to propagating the dinnerist line in Serbian politics. What odd ideas and conspiracy requests, requests of ministers' removal. Our cabinets have been approached by General Borovic Mirkovic, one of the leading members of the conspiracy organization in the military, needs to come bearing troubling news. The army's issues with the presence of one of the lesser ministers in the cabinet. As General Mirkovic informed us, that minister has been actively agitating against the remilitarization of Serbia and the beneficial relationship with which the Serbian army has established with the civilian government ever since 1926. The fact that General also came up to us with an immediate replacement. A loyal colonel of the Serbian army was more than qualified to fulfill the duties of the ministry and will not be anywhere as problematic. It follows the Milan Gro and the rest of the cabinet deciding whether they will follow through with the demand. Of course, it'll be done. Get more political power, which is nice. Gain some guy gives us more political power and construction speed. I'm not going to lose any more political power because that would be god awful. But whatever. Uh, so, right now, we're doing all this stuff. So, this one, Macedonian Flames, also autocomplete. So, if you don't know about that, please go right ahead. So, railroad transport groups. Rail rails and roads across Macedonia are a natural target for Macedonian terrorists. It's impossible to protect an entire rail track and disabling it disrupts communication severely. We can, however, minimize the damage by creating armed military uh, groups patrolling railroad tracks and boarding any trains in Macedonia to terror, terror attacks. Just because I don't want any more bombings. So, impose martial law would not be too bad. Appoint loyal village chiefs. And then we can get uh, more compliance gain, hopefully that way too. So, I would like that as fast as possible, so we could lure them in, but impose martial law. As the resistance of Macedonia spreads, we must not hold back any means to destroy them. For the duration, the entire region needs to be placed under strict military command. Curfews need to be established across the region, and any opposition rooted out without hesitation. We do have some comments to go through as well, which should be pretty good to talk about, but we'll get there in just a wee bit. And then lure their forces, which wouldn't be too bad, or massive redistribution, or massive retribution strategy. I kind of like that. Successful rounds during low phase will count for two victories instead of one. Lure in the, lure in the north. I'll make M IMRO significantly more likely to take the chosen attack route. Um, where are the forces? Uh, well, let's see this one. Let's see if we can do this one at all. I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Of course, to do this one, you need either one of these two, so it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, let's do that one. Mass retribution strategy, because why not? The key to suppressing insurgencies is to ensure that the war they wage is too costly for them to continue. For every serving convoy attack, we will burn a village. And let the IMRO know that the more damage it causes, the more needless bloodshed they will be forced to witness. That's the way we like to do it. Like the title of the last episode. If we have to, we will absolutely genocide the enemy. Oh, are we still at war? With I'm, Well, technically we can't enter the land, right? There's going to be a lot of resistance that way, so... What? Can we actually go that way? I don't know. We'll see what happens, though. That's definitely a lull right now. So, a couple comments. Um, when are we going to play as Kaiser Redux Fanction Dynasty? That's a very, very... Hello. Good question. Wait, what happened there? Yeah, you can't really enter the lands, but whatever. But yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Eventually. I'm not sure when. At the time of this recording, a lot of people want me to play it, but... Go in? Can you go in? Or can you just give up? <laughs> I want to watch the pathfinding. Defeat! Oh, no! Our strategy turned out to be miscalculated. Positions which were reinforced ended up being spending last month twiddling their thumbs while the Macedonian revolutionaries successfully raided several undefended villages and supply depots. While we can still try to make up for this loss, the IMRO scored a victory today? Well, not in my book. Alright, everyone. So, right now, the lull ceases. The regular small-scale warfare in Macedonia cannot last forever. The tension in the region is picking up, and the general staff reports that the roads are safe for large army movements. Should the situation allow it, the Serbian army may be able to launch full-scale offensive in the IMRO-occupied regions. The results of the guerrilla conflict in the past three months will have effect, too, and they are. Serbia gains an advantage. Now, with these two lulls and action stuff like... Uh, we've chaos and disorder in Macedonia, but we did win the two um, rounds, so we had three wins in total. Our efforts to restore our order in Ma southern, Mas southern Serbia have been hamstrung by a loss of order in many of the region's districts. The IMRO have been hard at work assassinating officials, raiding villages, and eliminating communications to see this route. Because of their efforts, our ability to respond has been severely paralyzed. Dudes, you will be unable to take any focus on the Macedonian from Flames branch for 90 days. Ongoing focus will be canceled. Well, we got 13 days left for this. We've got 13 days left for this, so we'll see what happens. I think well, never mind. Okay, god dang it. Screw that. I hate that so much. That's so stupid. But, uh, National Council, National Populism goes down. Consolidate the Popular Front. Um, not bad. Do we lose some political power? Oh, do I really want that? Not really. We can get some National Populist removal. Promote young officers would not be bad. Sway check influence. Um, as much as I want to do that stuff, modern howitzers. I think I read that one last time. This was not bad. Get a military factory, though. A land auction would be pretty nice. Air Force would be pretty good as well. Uh, it doesn't seem anything, like, really super important to get. This is not bad. I like this a lot. But it's still... Uh... Oh, you know what? National Council for Democracy. Serving democracy may appear prosperous, but it walks a fine line between prosperity and military coup. Who's to say that the conspiracy will not remove us from power, much like they removed at King Alexander? The National no Vecha za Democratie should serve as a semi-secret party council to search for ways how to stem their influence. We'll see what happens. And if I can beat the crap out of these guys, my god, I will. I want to launch an offensive, because right now, like, the resistance is still pretty god darn high. Which is pretty bad, honestly, but... And it's still going up. Can I actually go in? Of course, we get some debuffs to do this. Oh, Dutch Revolution, huh? How are we losing? I swear to god. I don't like this. This whole Macedonian thing, it makes sense why it's problematic. At the same time, I don't like it. They should have little to no manpower of anything. Yeah, they have no manpower. So I don't understand how they're able to, like, still do okay here. That makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. Puerto Rico declares independence. Well, good job, Puerto Rico. After that one, let's get some more social democrat support. Just to get some, reduce the amount of national pop support we have. From a position in the center, we've chosen to throw our lot in with the left. The Republicans and socialists share... share Share several key stances. Our common belief in prosperity, the common man, and progressive reform. Let's build a Serbia of the future together. And also, we're doing this right now just because I want to get another guy here, but we'll see what happens, of course. I'm assuming we build ourselves up, don't get me wrong, but you know, whatever. So, what are the debuffs like down here? Because we can still get some more army XP. I mean, obviously, we have this thing, but uh, military reform council, open rearmament, farming subsidies, the conspiracy, of course. We get basically no political power because of that. My bad. Look at this. Look at this garbage. Yeah, whoever designed this, I'm sorry, but I do not like this. And they don't even have air superiority. I get it. It's guerrilla warfare, but I really don't like this. Ugh. Force the attack. Just go in. Just kill them all off if you can. Ugh. Look at that. Kill every last one of them off. End of Chinese Revolt succeeds. Good job, guys. Good job. Action phase? Oh, you bet it's going to be action phase. I don't care how many Serbs I have to die for this. 
You know who has to die? Basically the Bulgarians. Or Macedonians. Or Macedonians. You force the attack, they cannot move, and they cannot reorganize. So, doesn't matter. Does not matter. They run out of organization, they die. I will not tolerate this. Get us at army XP if we have to. National Council for Democracy. And consolidate the popular front. Anything else down here? Oh, we can do some more stuff. Actually, you know what? At 100%. Oh, we're not at 100% yet. Um. Hmm. Could really use more guns. Or we just. Eh. Mm, I don't know. I'm honestly getting another military factory would be really strong. We could really use another military factory. Screw it. Let's do that. Brazil wins the World Cup. Good job, Brazil. Doesn't matter. You keep going in. I, I literally don't care. Vido Vidan represents the day. Of course, I heard this last time, but that was good ahead. Yay. Uh, Counterintelligence is not bad. Smoocher. Doesn't matter. I don't care how many divisions have to die of ours. We will kill and genocide every single last person here. Thank God it's over. Oh my goodness, I hate that so much. Yeah, I am a row. Yeah, no thanks. Order sword of Macedonia. Victorious military campaign has put an end to the in, uh, internal Macedonian revolutionary organizations tearing the southern Serbia. Their armed forces and bands, attachments have been scattered one after the other, crushed by superior Serbian arms, and order has been restored completely. Hundreds, if not thousands, have perished in the conflict. I hope it's hundreds of thousands. And the civilian population has suffered greatly. I hope it has. Both in reprisals and in acts of terror. Now that the flames of civil war have receded, however, some pieces are returned to the region. I hope we genocide every single last one of them. For the time being, southern Serbia will remain under military occupation, and reconstruction will have to take place before it's integrated back into the greater Serbian nation once again. Hurrah to Serbdom. I will not tolerate crap like that. If you non integrated areas, so be it, whatever. Fate of Bulgaria. After a long fight with the Bulgarians, we've launched a full offensive force the Bulgarian army to surrender. Sophia's now in her hands. What should we do with her lands? Burn him. Burn them all. <laughs> That's my response to uh, Bulgaria. Burn, burn, burn. I, and I will burn them again if I have to. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, does this prevent us from doing anything like here? Do we, can we still not get compliance? Honestly, I might just use const commands just to do this. Just to, just to see what this is like. So, like this one, and of course this one. Double agent networks. Spend a double agent. Map mount passes. Just because we can. Because why not? Stray dog war. Whatever. Together against Austria. Uh, the, we get the dreams of Yugoslavia. That's not bad. Attack bonus form Yugoslavia. Well, the Bulgarian threat eliminates time to turn our attention to the next and greatest enemy. The Austrians have been oppressing fellow Serbs for centuries, and our previous attempt failed. We have an opportunity to right this historical wrong. The Habsburgs are isolated. It's time to strike the dying husk once more and once for all. Okay. Yeah, my apologies for killing off a lot of uh, you know Serbs, but you know what? It had to be done. It absolutely had to be done. I do not tolerate dissent. Republicans win Greek referendum. Oh, good job, Republicans. Nice. And then uh, National Trade Union Council. It's a waste. Honestly, as much as the fun as be fun to promote those guys, the Republican Guard. But victory in the Balkan War. Oh. Uh, after years of planning and preparing, the combined forces of the Belgrade Pact now stand victorious over the Bulgar menace. No longer can the Bulgarians pressure us in doing their bidding, because now we are the masters of the Balkans. Our victory came at a cost, of course. Many brave men gave their lives to achieve our long-held dream, and it is their lives that we will celebrate in this stunning victory. Yet after reclaiming rough territories from the clutch of the Bulgarians, our mission isn't over. Austria stands firm to the north, oppressing their South Slavic population and doing the Habsburgs' biddings. This cannot stand. We must right the wrongs of the Valkyrie and finally seek revenge against Vienna, though to ensure our unity amongst the Belgrade Pact, the Second Be Belgrade Congress will be held in the coming weeks. Sound invitations in the Republican Guard. To ensure the defense of the Serbian Republic and revolutionary ideals, we need to establish an official National Guard made up of patriotic civilians and soldiers. This paramilitary organization will ensure that the democratic process is protected and will be the first to fight against any coup attempt. Possible new allies. The Balkan states are not the only ones which have territorial grievances against the Habsburg Empire, even if you do not count the competing ethnicities making it up with them. The country surrounding it of all but brethren are free from this prison of nations. As Austria is far more powerful than the Balkan states combined, we need to consider these possible new allies. During the Italian Civil War, the Austrians ripped off a piece of Italy and established a vast republic in Milan. They cannot suppress it for long, however, now an extreme revanchist government is in control of Lombardy, led by Italo Balbo, which seeks to reclaim all Italian lands, including those held by Austria. Perhaps we can be persuaded to join our cause. All help is welcome, my friends. All help is welcome. 
delegates arrived. Today, multinational throng diplomats observed the military officials descended on Belgrade to attend the opening ceremony of the Second Congress of Belgrade. In a short speech, the Prime Minister thanked all the delegates for attending and then gave a small toast to our certain victory over the mutual enemies in Vienna. Tomorrow, the serious discussions will begin concerning everyone's claim on Habsburg territory and our approach to dealing with them. But today is a day to cherish this rare celebration of pan-national unity. Let the Congress begin. I guess at this point, uh... We can't get any political power from doing this stuff, so... I guess we're pretty much done with the conspiracy. We'll try to lower it as much as we can. After the long fight of the Bulgarians, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Bulgarian army to surrender. Sophia's are now our hands. What should we do with the lands? Liberate them? I don't care about political power about that. Screw that. They're going to burn. So deciding on a goal. Our overall aim might be unified, but there are multiple ways we can approach dealing with Vienna. The more radical delegates of the Congress calling for a war to bleed the Austrians draw and revenge for their actions during the Valkyrie. On the other hand, the modern diplomats are favoring a more diplomatic approach, hoping to negotiate with Vienna rather than being purely belligerent towards them. A peaceful approach would likely be a bit preferable, but few are optimistic about Austria's chances of actually going to the negotiating table. Ultimately, the leading Serbian delegates have finally had the final choice over what approach we should take, and after some hours of backroom meetings, they return to Congress with a course of action. Force of diplomacy? Hmm. Force of diplomacy. I kind of want diplomacy. Questions or claims? I don't know. Western of Thrace, though. Let's see what this one's about. We've taken control of the region of Western Thrace, and now must decide what to do with it. Give it to Greece. Military occupation is the only way to deal with it. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, we don't have it as a core, but... Uh... Wait, what? That's not Western Thrace. This is literally Western Thrace. Why would we give this to them? What? Yeah, that's less resistance we got to deal with, but still. Um, I want to go to war with them, but we have no political power, so... Let's do this focus first, maybe. All right, and the Republican Guards. We can get that one daily going on, which would be nice. Um, 98% is pretty, pretty high, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I do want to go to war with them. Our army's not really ready yet. <sighs> yeah, the Romanians aren't really ready either. Force them with, let's force them with the diplomacy. Let's see what happens. If now we could probably still go to war with them anyways, right? Attack? Oh, you can always attack them anyways, so... Well, we got some time. We don't have to do it immediately, right? So, promote young officers, sway, check Nick associations, pardon communist revolutionaries. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that one first. Pardon communist revolutionaries. The communists were all one of the few who waged an active armed resistance against King Alexander II's regime, especially Montenegro, where Vasudians, Marko. Markovich's guerrillas terrorized the mountains before retreating into Albania. As suspicious as they may be with the advice to the Socialist Coalition partners, we should firmly and finally extend pardon to them. They rebuke our efforts. Particularly, Vienna has refused to negotiate. As they clearly want the war that will finally bring the end of the rotten empire, it's time for us to march towards our final battle over the Habsburg yoke. War shall be then. They made their choice, and we will attack when it is most opportune for us. Not for them. Actually, not, don't, don't do that one. Don't. Yeah, that's better. They give us time to build ourselves up anyways. Former Yugoslavia would be nice. Greece leaves the Congress. The delegation from Greece has left the Congress seemingly uninterested in the Austrian question. They're lost. Uh... Well, that sucks. Oh well. Questions of uh, claims. The plan of uh, action decided. The delegations of our satellite to form the claims on the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Naturally, we have made sure to inform them of our government's ultimate goals: to unite the southern Slavs of Austria-Hungary under our flag and free them of centuries of oppression. We shall free the Slavs. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. This sucks. Um, attack the Austrian Empire. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'll do this. Just so we can start getting rid of international popular support. I don't know if it's going to be that bad. The Congress has ended. Uh, with our plan and intentions clear, the Congress has come to a close. We now march towards the final battle in the establishment of a new order in the Balkans, where, one, uh, where the nations are free from the foreign empires and oppression. Onwards. Well, onwards eventually. Not yet. We can't afford that yet. Cool, some other comments though. Why do I have the player led peace conferences and siege into tool mod on while I'm playing Kaiserreich? That is because I always have it enabled, just because I don't ever think about it. So that's literally the only reason why. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I always leave it on just in case. I never remember to actually to turn it off and stuff like that. So it is what it is, of course, my friends. Let's see. Are we still getting more every day? 0.4. Is it going to go up to 0.5? Maybe. Yes, it is. A Gary and C's Calcutta. Good luck with that, guys. Good luck with that. Oh, the Chiang Empire looking pretty good, though. Another comment was, uh, Conspiracy coups us after we form Yugoslavia. So, assassination of some dude. If we still have the conspiracy and a ton of support here with these guys, um, 
then uh, we will get cooped by, by those guys, but we'll see what happens. The assassin issue is Yas uh, Pradanovich. The first president of the Serbian Republic and one of the most venerated statesmen from the Republican Party, Jos Yakov Jasa Prodanovich, has been assassinated today. The sudden despicable act took place on the politicians' home in Belgrade, which several armed agents suddenly forced themselves into and executed the victim without remorse. It was reported by the politician's son, Boroslav, who happened to come out to come by to visit a few hours later. Election 26, Bradanovich consolidated the gains of the Republican Revolution and pursued vast reform in order to establish what he perceived as a compassionate democratic nation, his career both in political and literary affairs. Preceded him for decades before the Revolution too, and he had served in, in ministerial positions as early as before the Valkyrie. However, staunchly opposed to militarism and authoritarianism, he came into conflict with a conspiracy secret society and so ultimately chose not to seek re-election because of this, and his later support for the anti-conspiracy endeavors. Rumors are abound that it was they who signed off his life. The officers and generals in their lodges and circles understandably feel threatened, as omnipotent as a control over Serbia may feel sometimes. The network has always been fragile now that we have chosen to resist their influence openly. They have been given us a warning, a line they have drawn in the sand with Pradanovich's blood. If you take any step further, others will suffer the same. Or perhaps that's only they want, they want us to think. The investigation into the assassination begins, and before the military kills it, we may have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to cut off the sword of the Damocles above us. Understood. Oh, we lose... Oh, movement for constitution. Are you kidding me? Ah, we lose political power. Man, that sucks. Man, why why would the devs do that? Just like, oh, here, the conspiracy stuff. Just get everything you want. It doesn't matter. And then it doesn't matter. Like, man. And we, apparently from according to one of you guys, like, if we actually get cooed by the national populace, they don't have unique focus tree, which I don't know if I can verify or not, but, like, that's that sucks. Uh, conspiracy, we can't lower it anymore, can we? Because I would like to lower this a little bit more before we get forced to take this, so. Legacy of the Southern Colonization Decree. In 1990, King Alexander II signed the decree of uncolonization of southern provinces into law. As one of the key figures or features of post war land reform in the Kingdom of Serbia. This decree ordered the ab abolition of serfdom and a sure cropping in Kosovo, the expropriation of estates formerly held by Albanian and Turkish landowners, and the settlement of Serbian war veterans in the vacant holdings. This marked a period of ethnic settlement in Kosovo, expulsion of thousands of Albanians and an ensuing conflict. To the Serbs, Kosovo holds sentimental values the location of the legendary Battle of Kosovo in the 14th century, and the official line of the Serbian government that was the Albanians were, were recent settlers, brought by the Ottoman Turks, and thus integration of Kosovo into Serbia was seen as a rightfully and a writing of a historical wrong. Finally, thousands of war veterans were on the streets of Serbia. They had been promised land during the Valkyrie, and, and uh, uh, Alexander's rule of dictatorship was anxious to satisfy their demand to avoid rebellion. The colonization of Kosovo was deemed to be a failure, however. Kosovo remained staunchly Albanian, and the population was left inflamed, and many of the colonists returning home were emigrated to our west after failing to make a living. The colonization was disrupted by the Republican Revolution, although some settlements continued for a few years before the decree was finally abolished in 31. Still, the scars of its legacy are as clear as they are as day in Kosovo, and it will take a long time for the region to heal. The decree was a mistake, but Kosovo should be ours. And it is. So, so at least with the, this whole Belgrade thing, uh, we're going to get rid of a lot of national popular support, hopefully. That's going to take some time, but it seriously should be dropping. So, after that one... Uh, oh, can't do that one. We are not in open conflict. Well, well, the country is still reeling from the assassination of the former president, Jasa Pradanovich. We have the last chance to curb the growth of the conspiracy before it's too late and democracy in Serbia is choked out forever. This is stupid, I'll be honest. I don't like this. Blame, shift blame on the conspiracy. Everyone already knows who assassinated former president Pradanovich. It's an open secret at this point. It was the militants and the conspirators in the army fearing him and others like him. Let's waste no more time with these subtleties and bring cases to court. If for no return, if we do not decapitate the army's interference with the strike. This will have severe consequences. At this point, I don't care. But, Social Suits or Insurance. The Central Office for the Assurance of Workers uh, was envisioned by an, as an institution for the centralized implementation of social insurance across Serbia, and now it can finally put it into place. Bojevic retires. Alas, Vojvoda. Petar Bojevic has officially handed his resignation from the military command of the Chief of Staff of the Serbian Army today, seeing that he's fulfilled his final duty to the Serbian state. Almost 80 years old, he no longer seems himself capable to continue much further, and whilst his peers are impressed by his skill and acumen like always, the Bojevic asserted in his letter that he should not be overestimated. A long time has passed since the Valkyrie, and the wars of the modern day are completely different from what he has grown up under. This difference in technology, tactics, and geopolitics is something he believes will never fully overcome. Bojevic has entrusted the new generation of Serbs to do better than him. They are persistent people, and they will surely find the way in the wards of today as long as they put their heart to it. He will retire to a humble home in Belgrade instead. It's a long line of Breg... Bregnakia. Whatever it is. Whatever. Manufacture evidence? Unlikely alliance with the monarchists. This is stupid. There's nothing we can do. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, I just don't know. I'm blaming the devs for this one. They might be watching. I don't know. But this is not cool. Oh, you can take all the stuff. Oh, but you can't really take all the stuff. It's going to penalize you so hard later on. National Council Union uh, 
National Trade Union Council? Who cares about political power at this point? Organized labor must have a say in governance and our socialist allies demand it. We shall establish an official council of trade union representatives. We shall govern us, advise on all economic legislation, and defend the rights of the workers in the high government. Other comments include, though. There's a new focus tree to form Yugoslavia with Bulgaria, apparently. Conspiracy has no focus tree? Apparently, according to you guys. Go the Stoyanovich dictatorship or the White Hand dictatorship, or something like that, and make more serving campaigns. Well, we'll see. After doing this, I'm not sure if I really want to play any more Kaiserreich of Serbia, so. Huh. Oh, we have Operation March of the Junot, Friends with Benefits. It's not like we could do anything here, anyways. Um, hmm. Operation Mars na Drinu. When the Serbs and Austrians faced off in 1914, we were eventually overwhelmed by the Empire's superior might and their German allies. We must learn from our mistakes and think ahead. If we end up at war with the Austrians again, we need to be prepared in advance and march to war with the Grand Battle Plan in our hands. Yeah, I don't know, man. We'll see. We shall see. What happens if we don't do this? The Republican... Oh, to remove the Republican Guard. So any way to actually remove any influence here is going to be even worse for us. So what's going up here if we keep removing this? Alright. We're in the desert. We'll get close to this one. I We cannot afford to get rid of the Republican Guard right now, so... Um, progress of Labor... Uh, prepare the national holdout? I like the military factory. Yeah, might as well. Because of our geography, it's very possible that we will be forced to capitulate Belgrade and surroundings to the Austrians, much like we did in 14, 1914, this time, however. We can prepare for such circumstances in advance and move officers to scope ship before, from where we can continue the fight. There goes the Ottoman Empire. Find us everyone, but that was good. Had a happy 1939, everybody. Not even 1% yet. Like, what is going on here? How are we getting no support here? Other groups have gotten some support, at least. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and try to cut, do this one when we get to, like, one day left, so. We shall see. 84% is not bad. And still, 0%. Oh, there goes uh, Italy. Should he plays Italy some more? We'll see. We'll see, though. Love to attack the Austrian Empire, but mm, not quite ready yet. Yeah, our divisions are definitely, definitely, definitely not ready yet. Uh, get some more output. We can use more guns, probably, right? Yes. Yeah, we can, but more artillery. Oh, Finland. Cool. And more bombers. Very nice. Motorized would eventually be pretty nice, too. I mean, uprising. Goodbye, Armenians. It's nice knowing you. If we were to attack, we would just die immediately, so. Severe consequences. Alright, prepare the national holdout. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Marsha the Drina. Found a confrontation between the Serbs and Habs Habsburg Empire approaches. However, our people and our general staff remember the very well last time the war broke out. Under the weight of central powers, we were crushed, suffering uh, the greatest humanitarian catastrophe in history. Hence, whatever we do, we must assure that it does not happen again. The good thing is that, unlike during the Valkyrie, we are able to prepare in advance and draft a war plan which will ensure victory in the field. What is this? So you gain the following effects. Get some chetas, huh? Oh, we don't have enough states, huh? Uh, in a plan against Austria, you're able to flag a certain number of states in the southern Slavic territories, which will be focus of our operations, thus be infiltrated in advance. Uh, completing further focuses in the focus tree will allow strengthening the effects of the serving war planning modifier, or allow or allow us to spawn resistance in the targeted states and thus have, cause havoc by enemy lines. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, I've got a few days left. And one more day. Let's see what happens. The fading democracy. Oh, crap. Well, through a calculated move or as an act of unprecedented boldness, the democratically elected government of Serbia chose to make a stand against the benefactors, openly accusing the Serbian army and secret cliques of having murdered the former president. The motivations beyond this turn, no matter what they were, matter little today, as the results have been disastrous. Something that the civilian government is making the accusation from fragile grounds. The conspiracy has retaliated, mobilizing everything at their disposal. The coalition of Skupstina has fractured as more and more deputies voice are concerned with the president's treasonous policy, one by another. Publications and newspaper articles show a blast in the government of having, a mis having mishandled the investigation of Prodanovich's death and searching for imaginary enemies to recuperate. 
Even though the son of the killed president has shown his face standing in favor of the military and his goals, the investigation has receded, and soon the carts hastily declare that the former president was shot by a lone royalist fanatic. No longer can the president and his ministers walk safely at night, knowing that they may be the next on the secret society's kill list. The last chance to blunt the fangs of the second black can have failed, and now they can only cope, cope in silence, hoping that they can survive and wait the military's radicalism out. Defense of the Public Show. Public Show. National populace popularity is capped to a minimum of 11%. Oh, well, let's... I'll be honest. This is not cool. This is not fun. That is not awesome. Well, at least... No. Oh, so, where are we at now? 88%? It's only going to go up? If it's only going to go up, then, uh, huh. Yeah. W why do we stay here? Why? I don't understand this at all. If we're if they're if they're such a secret society, then just come on out. Like seriously, this makes literally no sense at all. If they have so much control and we're just a puppet state, just turn us national populace. That doesn't give us anything. This makes no sense. Here, just do all this stuff anyways. Who cares then? Might as well go all the way, right? Who shows a conspiracy group? Watch out! I'm sorry, but that's stupid. That's incredibly stupid, man. Next time, if I ever play Serbia again in, Kaiser, in Kaiserreich, I'm never touching that thing again. Because you just get crushed by not, with nothing. You can't do anything. Um, hmm. National Lottery? Eh. Friends with Benefits? The Serbs and Romanians have joined forces with one another time and time again, and after so much hardship endured together, perhaps it's time to consummate this relationship into something closer? A union made more eternal bonds crafted to withstand the test of time, and a marriage of both the Balkan states and one economic and political union proclaimed? What's the point? If you don't have political power, there's no point doing that. Yeah, at this point, we must just restart the campaign then. Like, there's nothing you can do. It's so dumb. And I know someone's going to say, Oh, you should have done that earlier, Mr. Moklever. Well, how am I supposed to know? It says you can get stuff. You think that you'd be able to flip to national populace, but you, first you have to kill off the Austrians, and to do that, you need political power so you can get some stuff done. Sure, you can go to war, but you're just going to die because you can't raise conscription level. You can't raise, you know, your mobilization level. <sighs> Balkan Research Initiative? Might as well. Bringing together the desperate nations of the Balkans will require great effort, but prove beneficial in the long run. As the region is less developed than Western or Central Europe, it's imperative that we pool our scientific and technological resources together to stand a chance against our enemies. Yeah, seriously, give us 100% more political power. I mean, I mean, honestly, like, if they're gonna do this, devs, it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. Who's running the show? Nobody is, apparently. We have 20 divisions. How great. Hmm, a Romanian legionnaire Italy. I'm gonna wait until they go to war with someone else. Because Russia's gonna come knocking. Oh, this looks so awkward. And then they should be able to do well against these guys. Oh, did they get Nancy? Nancy? Oh. Friends with benefits. Research initiative. Belgrade. Salonica Act. Which would be nice, but then Greece did leave us. But maybe we can still do it with them anyways. You know, be nice with them for now. You can't core anything here. Thanks. Thanks, devs. Thanks. Decision category will be updated with invasion and coring decisions on the road to unification develops. Warning, should the conspiracy control get too high, over 50%, we'll be forced to concede to their Serb supremacists. And views and compromise on future vision for Yugoslavia, thus forcing us to turn away from the United States of Yugoslavia and set the nation of three tribes. we we'll become the Republic of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes. Thanks, Devs. Thanks. Oh, contact our rural militias. Much like their Serbian counterparts, the Illyrian villages are communal and their countryside still rife with armed citizenry, ranging from ordinary peasants to imitators of the Halduci. Contacting them and seeking, we can gather supporters and collect intelligence to prepare an inevitable uprising. Not a bad idea, but still. I was gonna if it's gonna get to hundred percent, I mean just what's the point of this? Stupid. Stupid. 
Hmm. This point, this campaign, I don't know. I'm gonna try our best, but we'll probably use Gonzo commands and just give us cheap political power. Yeah. This triple town is looking okay. Middle Africa. Oh, this guy's looking pretty good too over here. What's Russia doing? This is only May. I'm a modernization. Only way we can get political powers by not doing our focus tree, but we're going to do that. Latvians flee Russia. Ukraine. Odelinye. Wow, Krubov up the election factor hurts really badly. Rearmament program not too bad, though. That's pretty nice for them. Alright, a couple more days. Progress of labor. Dreams of Yugoslavia. No. I think we just have to wait. That's literally it. There's nothing we can do. Do you want to win? I mean, I'll say fight someone else. I hope the SRI wins. Oh, Switzerland's in here too. That's kind of nice. Not right. And more to Yugoslavism. Uh, the formation of Illyria may have satisfied many Croatian leaders, but others could still be convinced to stand with the immortal banner of Yugoslavism. Bosnians and Slovenes can, can stand by the Serbian side as well, giving us a base of support in Austrian territory. Rely upon the Prachani? The Serbian minority in Austrian lands, named the Prachani, have historically been the most enthusiastic supporters of a union with Serbia and the establishment of Yugoslavia. A fact we can harness and earn a base of support among the population during the war against Austria. Hmm. You know, more planning. Popular mobilization. Piedmontianism. That's not bad. We get more attack. Modify Serbian war planning. The local division. Oh. German was formed by Prussian military might and Italy by Piedmontian might. Yugoslavia thus must be formed by Serbian military might, and so the concerns of the Serbian army in the war against Austria should be a first priority versus popular mobilization. A nation of small Serbia will never be able to defeat the Habsburg Empire, even with the fellow Balkan states on its side. Only our, so our only solution is to turn the south, uh, or southern Serbian, uh, what the heck, uh, Slo south Slavs of the Empire against them, and rouse mass uprisings behind the lines, which would propel us to victory. Uh, Chitnak Chitas. Well, I don't know what type of combo with they are at, so. Um. I would prefer to get more states, one more divisions. And they didn't even bid us, it's pretty much over for us, so. Yeah, we'll see. Contact with rural militia, so there'll be a war planning. Open rearmament. Uh. Well, we're just serving war planning. There's reform council. National Lottery, and that's pretty much all we can do. We can't even do this stuff. Because we need this one. We gotta nationalize this thing, so. Yeah, we're locked out of a lot of things here, which, you know, I'll be honest, devs, it's just not smart to do like that. Uh. Uh, Rely, Immortal. Uh, Immortal Yugoslavism, why not? We'll try that one out, because we cannot. Because we can. Popular mobilization versus Piedmontism. The United States of Yugoslavia. Eh. Piedmontism. Well, we need the population. That's the only way we can get stuff. So we'll probably go with this one next. All right, everyone. So at this point, there's nothing we can do. It's 1940, March 1st. World War II has started. Um, and actually, the Germans aren't doing so great, as you can tell on screen. But, like, I said this earlier about the devs. But if we can go national populist... Or at least get teased to go national populist. We should be able to go national populist. Or populist. So, um, thanks, devs, for subverting my expectations in a terrible way. But regardless, um, I use cons commands to give ourselves political power. I don't care at this point. I really don't give a crap. So, if that's what the devs wanted, that's what they wanted, and I honor their you know desire for whatever they want. But I don't agree with it whatsoever. So. Let's go ahead and do form the Pact of Organization. As part of our desire to deepen ties with our allies and improve the economic situation in the entire Balkan region, we can propose the formation of an economic union. An economic council will be formed and directed, consisting of trade and financial experts from its member states, which will advise the Belgrade Pact's leaders. The more members agree, the stronger the benefits will be. Invite Legion to Italy and then Romania. We'll attack them soon enough. Uh, recruit the head of intelligence, because why not? Uh, we'll do that. And we raise conscription level, I believe we already have, which is great. And anything else here? I mean. 
Oh, so it would have been great to have. Would have been great to have, but... <sighs> disappointment. Just sheer disappointment. Um, organization is good on attack and defense. Over here, Chief of Staff. Max attrition is not bad. Organization, infantry attack and defense. That's mostly what we have. Gets more population, too. And anything else? We'll probably wait for a war economy. So we'll go to war with the Austrians now, as you can tell. Uh, well, Austrians federalized. The United States of Greater Austria is going to suck to fight. I just realized that Poland took Galicia Lodo... Galicia Lodomeria? But I've done a couple focuses off screen, such as uh, Modern Houses, which I think I read earlier, so there is that one. Um, oh, let's see, let's see. Belgrade Solonica Railway. With Greece as a neighbor and a friend, we have a new secure route for trade and supplies, however. Infrastructure in the region is lacking, certainly not helped by the decades of Bulgarian mismanagement. With some help from Athens, we can rectify this and improve our gateway to the world in relations with the Greeks. Import Russian armor, which we did. In the vast plains of Eastern Europe, the fast, maneuverable Russian tech tank excels. And we have the opportunity to import their armor in order to put it to use in the Siberian Armed Forces. The National Lottery. Uh, one way to fund a rearmament and prepare for a war against the Habsburg Empire is a National Lottery. All citizens will be encouraged to purchase lottery tickets, which appeals to national pride and possible wealth. And the profits of the lottery will go straight to rearmament. And we went with Modern Howitzers, which you just saw once again. And Lessons of the War. Which, which one we're going to do next after this one? Just because there's literally nothing else we can do. Formation of the Economic Council. With the ratification of the Pact of Organization, the Economic Council is set to begin its work in coordinating trade and economic relations between its members. Not a bad idea, but happy 1940, everybody. We're still losing more political power. Um, deep in economic ties. Thus far, the Economic Union is proving very beneficial for all its members, and we are in a position to improve it further by enacting new policies suggested by the Council. Why not? You know, why not? Lessons of the war. As glorious as our victory over Bulgaria was, it wasn't a flawless one. Armed with vital experience from the front lines, the Reform Council has already drawn up plans to overcome the mistakes we made, and it's time to put them into action. You know, the bonus of land auction would be pretty darn nice, and I want to get a bonus of support artillery as well. This is quite a small focus tree, but it is still just Serbia, so what do you expect? I expect a competent focus tree, or at least a path. But anyway, support Zetaz, uh, Zastava. Zastava is one of Serbia's oldest companies as main producer of firearms and artillery pieces. Supporting them will inevitably be beneficial as we continue to rearm and re for our military. Might as well. I can do some rural credit stuff. I mean, at this point, integrate Macedonia. Might as well try to. Um, we're aborted. We're gonna board it. Wait, we can abort things here? Huh. We do have 24 divisions. Um, I don't think we'll be able to win or survive here, so. Yeah. Hmm. Can we actually go this way, too? Oh, yeah, we can. That'd be nice. If we do go to war, I want to make sure that I don't call in the Romanians, because that'd be pretty bad for them. We don't have a lot of army XP. Then again, we don't have a lot of artillery. So, we'll have to make a few things happen here. We have enough guns. What if we were to throw in artillery, then things of oh, infantry? Hmm. We might just be forced to do that here. Um, I really don't want to attack until we're pretty much good and ready to go. Because the guys are just not ready yet, man. 16, 31 combat with divisions. Got some horse boys, which are 16 combo with, which are, eh. and we got some of these guys, which are 16 combo with as well. So I'm not really sure how we're supposed to win against a federalized, uh, you know, United States of Greater Austria. But my hope is that they do go to war with uh, these guys, this organization, as well as the old doctrine. Huh. I and mean, these guys are doing pretty darn well. I mean, these guys are not doing great. I'd like to see the casualties. I mean, they did have quite a massive push through southern Germany already. Uh, let's take a look at what's happening around the world as well. Switch forms of payments. Wow. This is disgusting. Panama. Oh, Mexico's in the Entente too. Look at that. Huh. Guatemala's in third international. Who is Maria Josefia Sofia? Parts from the Economic Council. Through the efforts of the Economic Council and our allies, the benefits we gained from further regional integration significantly improved. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah, yeah we'll probably increase the amount of political power we're getting, anyways. We're going to make some more civvies, millies. You know, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Even though we're still out of RD, which we should probably grab another thing of steel if we possibly can. That'll definitely help us out. Um, yeah, fighters will be nice. We're not going to really be able to use those too much. But after lessons of the war, we'll support Zastava. But other than that, there's nothing else we can do except for the Air Force stuff, which is fine, but not really. No, it's not fine. We were screwed out of this stuff, so. Ah. <sighs> Big sadness, and I'm not going to play... I don't really want to play Serbia again, and this is what it's going to be like, so... Yeah, not interested in Serbia. Sorry, guys. After seeing what the devs have come up with, not interested. Yeah, artillery would be nice, though. Let's finish this stuff off. Um, the Pact of Organization is actually really strong. If we find ourselves at war with any members of this economic union, the council will be disbanded, and we will lose all benefits. I mean... That would just make sense. 
Dig for resources. Grain and steel. A million manpower. The Russians should be doing pretty darn well, right? I mean, I guess we could support the attack, but at the same time, I don't really want to. So, we got to try a general defense here first, maybe. It'd probably be a stupid idea to try it, especially when we don't have enough arty. Uh, yeah, we could really use a, another thing in tungsten. Uh, let's get it from Grand Pru. So that should really help out our artillery. Quite a bit, actually. Keep making more guns for now, maybe? Alright, not bad. So then we have that one, and we'll get all sorts of political power that we probably could really use. Yeah. We already talked about that thing enough, so. Go and do that. See what we can do. Tactic bombers, anti air. What are we missing besides manpower? So we'll probably use manpower or political power as well to get more, you know, service by requirement. So yeah, I'm just disappointed in the devs. This type of thing is just. It's not fun. Just why? Just why? That's usually my question. Just why? But maybe we'll end this episode just trying to fight the Austrians anyways. Because we can. Just to see what would happen. Uh, support Sestava. Yeah, we might as well. Screw it. On 20 days. We'll see what happens. If we lose, then we lose. Whatever. But I'll make sure that we'll win. Just to see what happens after we reunify this area. Just be Or unify this area. Just because... I want to see what happens. Even though I'll probably not go play Serbia again for a very long time after this. In Kaiserreich. At least. At the very least. And I'm not going to call on our allies, too. No, 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 no. If I can, I will not call them in, because that's going to be a pain in the butt to fight through. And uh, Romania will screw themselves over by doing that, so. Alright, come on. Come on. Um, anyone have upgrades? Offensive. I should have made you de defensive instead. My bad. Actually, do we have change, time to change you? Uh, details. Uh, 30%? That's just 30% more max entrenchment. Uh, he, he already is an inflexible dude. He already has more defense anyways. Improved computing machine would be nice. Uh, Serbian nuclear research? Why not? Sounds perfect to me. Spot more manpower, which is nice. Are we out of anything besides artillery? No, and now we should have surplus. We should be grandiose. Oh, look at that. We have all that sort of stuff now. Alright, go and do that too. Now we're really out of artillery. Yay. Followed Minchin? Oh. Oh, and now they join. Bro. This is why I'm totally okay with using console commands at this point. That's stupid. That's so stupid. Uh, Former Yugoslavia would be nice. We'll probably do that in the next episode, no matter what happens. Yeah. Oh, I guess we're moving their divisions, probably. I just don't want to call on the, the uh, Belgrade Pact. Look at all that. And now we're at war. Okay, they went in war, too. Okay, can we actually win here? Uh, here's a hold. Hey, don't go too crazy, man. Hello, please don't do that. Flanders? Uh, sure, guys. We'll have a non-aggression pact with you all. Oh, Russia offers us an alliance. We received a request today from Moscow itself. They wish to invite us to a mutually beneficial military alliance. While the Russian state certainly needs all help we can get in these uncertain times, we should also contemplate the risk of being brought into an unwanted entanglement with other nations. How should we respond? Oh, heck yes. Oh, heck yes. Supports us out of the Fifth Balkan War. The Serbian armies is gathered on the border of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Unlike 20 years ago, they're not mobilized for defense against invaders from the north, but they're gearing up for an attack. They intent to crack the Habsburg Empire and set them blow and bring forth its demise. Though the regime in Belgrade may shine with confidence, spewing propaganda about the liberation of the brethren along the Drina River, the mood on the ground is considerably less optimistic. There's a common theme across letters written home by Serb soldiers gearing up for the war. Does the Belgrade Pact really stand a chance in this war? 20 years ago, Serbia stood against the Austro-Hungarian Empire, in spite of all the bravery which Serb soldiers showed during the campaign. The country was ripped apart, battered and burned. Today, their enemies are even stronger, while theirs or allies are even weaker. So there's really any reason to be so confident about the victory? The war begins regardless, however, and for the politicians of Belgrade, there seems to be no option but to strike now. Those who wish to liberate the fellow Sla South Slavs through that if Austria is left alone for any longer, it will rebel and rejuvenate, becoming impossible to ever challenge again. Those who believe in the cause of Yugoslavism fear that if their flame is not rekindled, or God forbid Serbia loses the war again, then the dream of South Slavic unity will become history. Serbs and Croats will be separated forever, and the last hope of Yugoslav Brotherhood will fade, unless the pact pulls off an unlikely victory. We should make our last chance count. We'll see what happens, but unfortunately, I've got to end the episode there. You know, it seems like we're doing relatively okay-ish here. Um, couch tees? Real quick, uh, not bad. Germany's lost quite a, I've lost quite a few, but regardless, 
If you enjoyed the video and somehow enjoyed my rants, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow that in which we will beat up the Hostile Hungarian Empire. And hopefully do okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.